What's going on? It's Josh from Colossus Fitness. Today we're gonna to teach you how to get some big arms. Uh, this is a question we get all the time. We've made videos on it before. But here I'm gonna go into five kind of unique tips that will really kind of change the impact of how to go from having some little pipe cleaners to some massive cannons. So first and foremost is actually understanding the structure of an arm. So a lot of people when they say they want big arms, they just come in and they curl to their black and blue. Um, the bicep's actually gonna make up less of the arm than the tricep, right? And having big arms is subjective. You can have like 20 inch arms and have smaller looking arms than someone with like 20 inches. You have to really understand the breakdown of the muscle. So you need a good balance. So if you want your arm to look big too, a peak will kind of give that effect. The leaner you are, all these factors will kind of play off. So first and foremost, you need to understand the tricep is actually a bigger portion of the arm, makes up about 60%, whereas the bicep is about 40. Now even outside of your actual straight up arm, an arm is a full arm, right? So you gotta really train the forearms hard. If you have big forearms, you know, like Popeye, it really gives you that kind of, that look of being like big, strong, manly, like tested, right? Or if you're a woman, you want big arms, same factor, right? So you really need to kind of know how to train and balance each one. I like to reflect my training based on the structure of the arm. So I'll do about 60% of my workout kind of around the tricep, 40% around the bicep, and then I'll usually just do about five sets of my forearms, kind of blow them out after. And if you're looking for some exercises to blow up those forearms, click the first link in the description down below, we got a video for you. Before we get into actionables for everyone here, we're just gonna go over one little more small detail. So Kyle's a great example of this. I'm sure you can see on this photo of him on the screen. He's got some massive shoulders. Now when someone has big shoulders and you're thinking outside of just an arm, it's gonna make your arm look nice too. When your shoulder's really capped, it's curved out, you know, you kind of see all these splits and it really gives that allure of big arms, even if your arms aren't that massive. I know a lot of people that have like 14 or 14.5 inch arms, which is relatively not that large. They have some big shoulders, they have some good density and definition and that's gonna make your arms look massive. So a great tool is to really blow up those shoulders. And this is just gonna improve your physique overall. You get that superhero type of look, that V-ing that you can see. We'll put an example up on the screen. You can literally see we can draw lines of this V. And the wider your shoulders get, the smaller your waist gets, and the more of those arms and everything will kind of pop out. So number three here, are actionables. So before you train each uh, muscle group, start with a really heavy type of compound. So when I say compound, it's something that's gonna work all the heads. So by means two, tri means three. So you have three heads in your tricep, two in your bicep. So examples of these for the tricep, for instance, are close grip bench press. Uh, you're gonna be activating every head and that is an absolute killer. And you can really stack some weight. Same with biceps, you can do like an easy bar or a barbell curl. Just make sure you're not doing the squat rack or taking a barbell that someone wants because that's annoying. So the reason these are so great is you're working all the heads and you can really focus on strength and developing and just ripping those fibers and starting nice and heavy, right? By completely thrashing them to start with some strength movement, you're kind of getting them all primed and then you can move into those more isometric pumping kind of exercises. So you can do things to isolate individual heads, like you can do single arm movements. You can just really focus and dial in. So start big, work in small. And another big tip I found has been really effective is to switch between the two. So I'll start with the tricep movement, once again, try and do that 60-40. Then I'll bridge myself into a bicep movement, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep. And then I'll usually end with two more triceps. And that's worked exceptionally for me and I know it'll help benefit you as well. This way you're giving each muscle a little bit of time to rest. And because they're such small muscles relative to everything else, like your back and your legs, you can absolutely thrash them. So don't be afraid when you feel that pump, you feel that blood coming, you gotta push through it. You can completely destroy them and that's what makes it so fun about arm training. Number four is just to put yourself in a surplus. It's very hard, if not nearly impossible, unless you're brand new to lifting, to actually increase your muscular condition without a caloric surplus. So what is a caloric surplus? So if I were to eat a certain amount every day and my weight were to not change up or down at all, that's kind of my maintenance. So to be in a surplus, I need to be slowly gaining weight. Obviously the rate of weight gain will impact how much muscle you can put on, but the downfall of gaining too much weight at once is putting on too much fat. So when I, what you wanna do if you want bigger arms, you wanna keep that lean kind of composition, you wanna be gaining about maybe half a pound a week, and that way you can slowly work to add on mass and kind of put on some more muscle on those arms. Unfortunately, it won't go always where you want it to go and it's got to take some time and that's why this is a process and that's why you got to use all these tips together in a unified manner to really kind of build up those arms and to stay consistent. 
However, if you're in a surplus, it makes this a lot easier. Even I've had people, I have one client who came to me 135, he said his arms were his biggest insecurity, and now three months later, his arms have grown about four inches, which is insane, but we've also put on about 30 pounds. We've done a pretty aggressive bulk because that's something he's comfortable with, but it worked really efficiently, and now he's getting a lot of compliments for having big arms because he's doing his arm day, we're doing that balance, I'm doing his programming, he's being taken care of. So the biggest takeaway here is put yourself in a surplus if everything else fails. Then last but not least is just increasing volume. When you're gonna increase volume, it's gonna to lead to muscle gain, that's how it works, that's what's been proven. So by adding more volume to a muscle, you're giving it more attention, it's gonna get more strength, it's gonna have more breakdown, it's gonna gain more size. It's quite simple like that. So the easiest way to add volume for arms, for instance, if you're someone who's doing a push pull legs, um, a big tip we always have is to add an arm day in there. So you can add an extra day and it can almost be like a rest day of sorts. You can kind of put it after your leg so it won't affect too much or something like that. And then by doing that, you're giving it some specific time to really activate it. I wouldn't put this as one of your core days if you're only doing three days a week or something, but it can be really good in addition if you want some extra time in the gym. I mean, it won't take too much out of you. It's something I enjoy to do and I kind of keep it as an optional day in my routine. But now if this doesn't work for you and you are doing that push pull legs on push, you can utilize that time to really work your triceps at the end, kind of blast everything out when all your other muscles are fatigued, really hit those triceps nice and hard, and same with pull. You can add some extra curls in there, some extra volume from that, and that's gonna make a world of difference. And then those are just some easy kind of mixes you can make, fun ways to put them in. Some people will do an arm day with their leg day, because they're kind of blasting everything, and they like to end it with some fun. This is something you experiment with, but if you incorporate all these tools, you're gonna to gain some serious size. These have worked for me, they have worked for hundreds of my clients, and they're gonna work for you. So keep checking into our videos, for fantastic content like this. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you feel comfortable like you're gonna blow up those arms, hit that like button, subscribe, share with a friend. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.